What's up, my good people? So you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all stuff today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and call me, baby. Smile that dough bell for me, baby. You heard me. And keep God first, baby, over everything. So the note, my good people, let the video take off. And I'm going to let catch it by the end, baby. Let's go. Both are facing attempted murder charges in connection to an interstate shooting that left a father and his four children critically injured. Both appeared before a judge Thursday morning. Watson's appearance was reset since he did not have an attorney at the time. Attorney Brandon Hall is representing Ray, who has no prior convictions. Mr. Ray still has his constitutional right to be defended. According to court documents, the father was trying to merge onto I-240 from Mount Moriah Road, but couldn't because a gray SUV wouldn't let him. Once he got over, the person behind the wheel of the SUV started driving erratically as it approached the victim's driver's side window. Reports say the victim rolled down his window and made a hand gesture asking the occupants why they were driving in such a manner. That's when the SUV allegedly made its way to the passenger side of the victim's car and someone inside opened fire. After a police chase into Raleigh and shot fired at officers. Two suspects were arrested, Ray and Watson. Hall says the affidavit does not clarify who fired the shots. If you're just a passenger in a vehicle, it doesn't mean you're guilty of committing a crime if another passenger in the vehicle decides to commit a crime. So that all that evidence will have to come to light in the later days. Hall waived his client's bail hearing due to a pending case in another court. According to the district attorney's office, Ray was out on bond for possessing a stolen handgun. The bond was set to $500. DA Steve Mulroy says Ray agreed to plead guilty to those charges and was due in court next month to enter that plea and hear his sentence. Since Ray has been rearrested, prosecutors say they plan to revoke his bond. Generally, as a protective move, the judge will just go ahead and grant that motion um, initially, and then we'll be having a hearing on that later on down the road. So it would be a, a waste of the court's time to do the bail hearing tomorrow. With the mother of four children who were all shot in that road rage shooting on I-240 last week. At least one of those kids is now paralyzed for life. And tonight she talks about the rough road ahead and shares an idea with Pepper on how families affected by gun violence can get justice. That Tuesday afternoon, I got a call around 5.17, I remember it, like it was yesterday. And um, their dad, Antonio, called me and said that, it, that Kyrie got shot. Our eight-year-old son, Kyrie, was sitting in the front passenger seat with her boyfriend, Antonio, driving on I-240. With her three three-year-olds, Antonio Jr. and twins, Ace and Zuri, in the back. Where were you in the moment? And 21 year old Kendrick Ray are in jail. Both a host of charges, including six counts each of attempted first degree murder from a shooting Memphis police say stemmed from road rage. You seen my child in that front seat. So he's not this big eight year old. And then I know you seen those little babies in the back seat and you just didn't care. Peter Ace, the three year old boy twin, was the first out of surgery. The bullet was stuck in the intestines and so they had to cut and take, to, to take the bullet out. Three-year-old Antonio Jr. was the second out of surgery after being shot twice, once in each arm. Both of his arms are in cast, so I have to be careful with him. I have to pick him up. He, who is also autistic, has the most severe injuries being shot in the hand and the leg. He's going to have to have two prosthetic fingers. The other gunshot wound came in the leg, so it's stuck in the femur bone, which is the bone that helps us stand, and it's the growth bone. So by the bullet being stuck in there and the bones on the side being crushed, she got grazed five times. She didn't really get shot, but if she had it, she probably would be paralyzed because all of hers were in her back. Her boy was also shot. He was released from the hospital. Ireland shooting. I want to come up with a wanted to call it the Brits Act. If somebody, you know, harms a child while, you know, I mean, cause harm to a child while, you know, doing a dangerous act, um, they should not be able to get a bond. You need to serve that time. Are still in the hospital. Yes, two are in the hospital. Two have been released. But just talking to the mother today, you get a sense of just how quickly any of our lives can forever be changed. I've been to change Brittany Ireland's life forever. So the surgeon told me initially, he may, it's a possibility that they may have to amputate his whole hand because they couldn't really get a pulse, a strong pulse. Were shot. 
Police say it happened on I-240 uh, just I before the Poplar exit. You know saying, Investigators say it was a case of road you know rage. Once at the hospital, you know Ireland first saw her eight-year-old son, Kyrie. I got worries how this will now affect his self-esteem. Aesthetic fingers. Next, Ireland says saw her three-year-old son, AJ. You know what I'm saying? Running around here, just open fire on somebody for no reason, man. They need to show no give them about 30 years. 30 years, they got to do 20 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you something. They'll stop all the lot of this killing. See, these young just looking now, huh, trust me, they scared. They scared. They knowing that they got caught. They knowing that they finna get that time. They know they finna go to prison. And what they gonna do? They gonna try to, you know what I'm saying? They gonna try to cite their notebook out. You know, if you hear me like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna be ready. You know what I'm saying? To go to, you know what I'm saying? The big cage and all that. But actually, reality, when you can psych yourself out all you want, partners, when you get up in there, <laughs> bad, look at your bad. You're going to be around some some vicious killers. You're going to be around some, some might be some little bit of rape in you. feel me? You're going to be around, you know what I'm saying, people that ain't got nothing to lose. You're going to be around looney tools. You're going to be around still crazy people. My statue and that crazy on at the same time. That's what we call it, still crazy. You hear me? They're statue and they're crazy. You feel me? You're going to be sleeping with them type of person. You're going to be sleeping one eye open. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all about to get ready for it. You hear me? And the other G, he just got out from a, 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 a stolen weapon. And now, you know what I'm saying? He said, I guess his, his lawyer, he talking to the lawyer, to the lawyer, hey, man, I was riding, but I ain't squeezed nothing. You feel me? And the lawyer probably say, who, who, who squeezed? And he probably said, look at man, I ain't going to say that because you might say woo woo in the courtroom. You ain't gonna jump and die in my life and I gotta step back out of the industry, you feel me? So if he says client ain't do it, you know what I'm saying? They gonna they gonna tell you something about the laws. He still gonna get popped because he had just got out from a stolen weapon. Now you get caught with your homeboy, because your homeboy went to dumping, and y'all think that was cool. Y'all were laughing, smoking, you know what I'm saying? Man, how can you really can shoot? That cop like that man, knowing that I'm quite sure, man, that y'all seen kids in there with their heads up. I'm, I'm quite sure of that. You feel me? So, yeah, y'all need to get everything y'all deserve, man. That's good for you. You feel me? That's good for you. Facts. You feel me? Because you ain't had no business doing that. You know what I'm saying? Now this little boy, he gonna have, you know what I'm saying, artificial fingers. One leg gonna be bigger than the other leg. You feel what I'm saying? You know, man, y'all y'all should never did that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm quite sure y'all got brothers about their age. I'm quite sure y'all got, you know what I'm saying, cousin about their age. You feel me? Y'all be riding and smoking, think that's cool. Soon you got that tool on, you figure that's the best thing you can do? Come on, man. You should have just kept on pushing. You should have just said what you said and kept pushing. You feel me? Instead... I don't know what type of narcotics y'all be smoking, whatever they got in that weed. It be having y'all young just not doing the stupidest thing in the world and think that that's tough. Think that that's hard. Think that that's gangster. That ain't gangster. You know what I'm saying? You can have problems up in there about these little kids. You know what I'm saying? Back in our, my day, I'm going to tell you something. You can't come in there killing a woman. You can't come in there doing nothing to no type of child. None. They give y'all young just a passing though. Cause y'all in the same gang. I'll tell you something. The gang need to just push y'all to the side. The gang should don't have no respect for you. Throw them out the gang. Y'all ain't ride with me around here. You know what I'm saying? Shooting and, and zipping up innocent little kids. May don't have nothing to do with nothing. You feel me? So you know, guess what? The gang need to start teaching y'all a lesson too, and then y'all start having respect. Started just going around, started just shooting up in and everybody, man. It don't make no sense, man. The gang shouldn't give y'all no pass when it come down to a woman, when it come down to a child. You feel me? But some gang let that pass because some more half of them zipped up a woman. Some of them shot up little kids, innocent kids for no reason. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing things going to get better in life, man. You know what I'm saying? So, on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Much blessing. Much prayers. I could donors go out to her.
this lady, her family, the little kids, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I pray that that God really, really seek that young, the oldest one, some, some help because because it's it, it, it's going to bother him, man. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of feel his pain. He was up there laughing then, but at the same time, he's still going to have it in the back of his mind. Man, I got artificial fingers. I'm going to have an artificial leg. You know what I'm saying? That going to play a whole major factor in these kids' life, man. In these kids' life. Anyway, my good people, I'm going to get off this shit. I'm quit thinking about it because it ain't going to just piss me off, to be honest with you. So on this note, my good people, that's the end. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby. Oh, everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone. Ain't enough beatings for you. Ain't enough beatings for you. Ain't enough beatings for you.